Zero. Check one. It is full good to reprove, more than to be wrath, and to forbid not a man knowledging in prayer. Verse 2. The covetous of a gilding hath defiled the maidenhead of a young woman. Verse 3. So he that maketh wicked dome by violence. Verse 4. It is full good that a man that is reproved show openly penance. For so thou shalt escape willful sin. Verse 5. There is a still man which is found in wise, and he is hateful which is foolhardy to speak. Verse 6. So, Thelly, there is a still man not having wit of speech, and there is a still man knowing the season of covenable time. Verse 7. A wise man shall be still till to time, but a jolly man and unprudent man shall not keep time. Verse 8. He that useth many words hurteth his soul, and he that taketh power to himself unjustly shall be hated. Verse 9. There is going forth in evils to a man unlearned, and there is finding in to parrying. Verse 10. There is a gift which is not profitable, and there is a gift whose yielding is double. Verse 11. There is making less for glory, and there is a man which shall raise the head from meekness. Verse 12. There is a man that ambieth many sins for little price, and restoreth though in sevenfold. Verse 13. A wise man in words maketh himself amiable, but the graces of fools shall be shed out. Verse 14, the gift of an unwise man shall not be profitable to thee, for his iron bend sevenfold. Verse 15, he shall give little things, and he shall upbraid many things, and the opening of his mouth is inflaming. Verse 16, today a man leaneth, and tomorrow he axeth, and such a man is hateful. Verse 17, a friend shall not be to a fool, and grace shall not be to his goods. Verse 18. For they that eat in his bread, been of false tongue, how oft and how many men shall in scorn him. Verse 19. For he departeth not by even wit that that was worthy to be had, in like manner and that that was not worthy to be had. Verse 20. The falling of a false tongue is as he that falleth in the palmant. So the falleth of evil men shall come hastily. Verse 21. A man without grace is as a vain fable, and it shall be customable in the mouth of unlearned men. Verse 22. A parable shall be reproved of the mouth of a fool, for he saith not it in his time. There is a man that is forboden to do sin for poverty, and he shall be pricked in his rest. Verse 23. There is a man that shall lease his soul for shame, and for the unprudence of a person he shall lease it. Verse 24. For soeth he shall lease himself for the taking of a person. Verse 25. There is a man that for shame beheadeth to a friend and he hath gate him enemy without cause. Verse 26. Leasing is a wicked chenship in a man, and it shall be customably in the mouth of unlearned men. Verse 27. Better is a thief than the customableness of a man, a leasing monger, for so if both they shall inherit perdition. Verse 28. The manners of men, leasing mongers, been without an honor, and her shenship is with them without ceasing. Verse 29. A wise man in words shall bring forth himself, and a prudent man shall please great men. Verse 30. He that worketh his land shall make high the heap of fruits, and he that worketh rightfulness shall be enhanced. So, Thelly, 
He that pleaseth great men shall escape wickedness. Verse 31. Presents and gifts blind in the eye and a judges, and as dumb in the mouth it turneth away the chastisings of them. Verse 32. Wisdom hid, and treasure unseen. What profit is in ever either? Verse 33. He is better that hideth his unwisdom than a man that hideth his wisdom. So I